Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this three minute tip, I'm going to help you determine if your website has a sitemap. A sitemap is usually a file or page on your website that uh, links to all of the other pages on your site or all the pages on your site. So someone could, or Google or a search engine could easily find all the links or pages on your website. So I just pulled up this random website to try to find an example of what I would call an old style sitemap, which is uh, usually found at the bottom of the page. A lot of times sites will have just a link for sitemap and if I click on it, it's just a page that links to all the pages on the website. It's probably uh, manually created by someone. So the problem with this would be that whenever you add a new page, you have to manually add a link here. But there's a, it's a small website, so it's you know only 10 or so pages and they're all linked right here. So a good way to find this would be to just go to your website and add something like sitemap.html. This one is actually called site-map.shtml. Uh, but you could go in your list of pages and look for something called sitemap, whether you're using WordPress or Joomla or some other uh, platform. Uh, if I were to go to this website, for example, um, this is one of my client sites and I generated a sitemap for them and it's actually at sitemap.xml and that's a newer format of um, sitemap that's usually used in WordPress or other sites, uh, other site platforms. In this case we are using a plugin so you could search for a sitemap on your website by going to the domain and then putting in slash sitemap.xml. Uh, you might try sitemap.html as well to try to, to, try to find a sitemap uh, file on your website. So there's probably a pretty good chance that you're trying to find your sitemap file so that you can add it to a Google Search Console, uh, which is a way to kind of let Google know what pages are on your site. Uh, you could check out my other video that I did uh, answering the question, is my website in Google, where I kind of talk about WordPress plugins and the ones I use to create a sitemap like this that are these sitemaps are automatically updated whenever you add pages or blog posts to your site. So go ahead and check out that video and we'll see you there.